MyFlashStore.net, the internet's number one beat marketplace. Hello and welcome to MyFlashStore. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your PayPal account to work with MyFlashStore so that your sales are processed correctly on our systems. The first thing you'll need to do is set up Instant Payment Notifications, or IPN for short. Now to do this, go to your profile icon at the top right and click on Profile and Settings. Then on the left hand side, click My Selling Preferences. Now under Instant Payment Notifications, click on Update. Now Instant Payment Notifications are messages sent from PayPal to our system to confirm successful payment. Our systems need to know if a payment was successful so that we can process the sale and deliver the order to your customers. Now you need to make sure that IPN is turned on, so click on Choose IPN Settings. Now you need to make sure that you click on receive IPM messages. The notification URL that you set isn't entirely important for my flash store to work as long as you set it to something. So we recommend that you set it to your own website. And then click on save. Now the next thing you'll need to do is set up auto return. Now go back to your profile icon at the top right and click on profile and settings. Now click on selling preferences on the left and next to website preferences click on update. Now if you don't see the auto return feature then you'll need to upgrade your account to a premier or business account. This is free and simple just go to paypal.com forward slash upgrade. Now auto return is really important to ensure that your customers return back to an order confirmation page on my flash store with their download links after they've made a payment. So you need to make sure that auto return is turned on. Now the URL needs to be set to www.myflashstore.net. They won't actually return to our home page, instead they'll return to an order confirmation page. But because every order confirmation page is different, this needs to be set to our home page and then the customer will still return to an order confirmation page. So once you've done that, go down to the bottom and click on save. Now the final thing you need to do is disable any taxes or shipping costs that you may have set up on your PayPal account. Our systems can only process an order if the payment amount in PayPal is exactly the same as the total order amount on your BeatStore. This is so that your customers don't get confused when they're suddenly being charged more when they arrive at the PayPal payment page. By default, your PayPal account isn't set up with taxes and shipping costs, so if you've never set them up then you have nothing to worry about. But if you have, then these need to be removed.